smart. <laughs> they don't know where we at, but I do. <laughs> this nigga done kidnapped me again and forced me to come to his home and shoot this episode. So please, if you care anything about me, like the video so it can be shared. And so it can bring awareness to black men being kidnapped. Camera's on, I said that right. Mm -hmm. That's fucking hilarious. Anyway, uh, thanks for tuning in and welcome to episode 33. I'm your host Q and this is another episode of uh, N Word News. So let's jump into it with a little bit of information about the election. Like this shit hasn't been open for like two, coming up on three weeks now, but everything about the election is ongoing. Trump is not conceding. Biden is asking for money to start to transition. Transition into what? To his position. Since Trump ain't conceding, he says that we need money to help the process. I a rich said, the white man is asking poor black people, no offense to any poor or, you know, middle class or however the fuck you identify as far as social status in this world. Black people to help him get a orange motherfucker out of the White House. When you add all them colors, that shit's hilarious. Because this whole shit is a fucking joke. Like... Believe me when I tell you, we have nothing to worry about. Trump's ass is going to be out of there. You want me to tell you why? Because there are enough white people in this world to get that one white person out. Let me tell you why? Here's why. Because he's no longer the fucking president. That nigga is avoiding charges of going to prison. Why do you think he started talking about changing his citizenship when that documentary came out about Epstein and his fucking island? It's just like, it's a lot of pictures of y'all together. Coincidence? Hell no. Nah. Got me hyped up. <sighs> All right, so the CDC is pushing out new regulations that are stating that you need to get tested three days before each of your flights and quarantine for two weeks after you return from your flight if you are traveling internationally. Uh, we here at the Inger Noodle say, you know, you should have been doing that. Like, this is a global pandemic, meaning that just because you leave the States does not mean the virus is not where you are going. But hey, you're paying for your flights. You're not really coming into contact with me directly, so I don't give a fuck what you do. Also, uh, Trump and Trump Jr. have COVID. I'm not smiling rejoicing because they have it. I'm smiling and rejoicing because they have it. <laughs> Excuse me. Gucci and Jeezy just had their versus battle. Unfortunately, I was in the field, so I couldn't watch it, but I heard it was pretty good, and it is. it was everything that people expected. I honestly thought that them niggas was gonna fucking get into it because they really haven't been in the same room in that close proximity for years. Oh, keep keep reading. Gucci was trying. Uh, <laughs> oh, you put a fucking hit out on me. Yes, I'ma try. Like, just because you got over that shit doesn't mean I got over it. But I like both of them as artists, you no, know, so I'm glad nothing came out of it, but if I had to choose a side about who I'm rocking with, I mean, Jeezy, like, you from my home state. Gucci from Alabama. I'm gonna have to rock with Gucci, though, because you put a fucking hit out on this man. If y'all don't know what I'm talking about, go and listen to the song by Gucci. Uh, ah, shit, my mind just went blank. The Truth? Yes. Go First listen. song he played at the verses. Yes, go listen to The Truth. That shit was dissing him and T.I. You don't hear about the part that T.I. Yeah, let me stop. I'm stirring up shit. Yeah, <laughs> let me stop. We need to stop all this violence against our brothers and sisters, though. But uh, Gucci came out playing a, a lot of his diss tracks towards Jeezy. Yes, it was more than fucking one. And everyone wants to say that Jeezy took the high road by not, you know, responding to Gucci playing his diss tracks. But, I mean, Gu Jeezy has a nice-ass catalog, but he has nothing in regards to disses. I'm going to finish. No, I know that. I'm just saying. Ain't no high road if you put money on my head. Like I was saying, Jeezy has a very nice catalog musically, uh, but he doesn't have too many disses that will top the disses that Gucci came at with him in, re in reference to that incident. Um, 2423 is probably the best Jeezy diss towards Gucci that comes to my mind. If y'all feel if y'all feel otherwise, you know, comment down in the uh, comment section. But that's the that's the that's the one I can remember when it came out. I was just like, yeah, this shit hard. 
But with that being said, you cannot take the high road and put money on my life. Like, nigga, you can't do it. Like, that makes no sense. You're going to take the high road 10, 12 years after I'm alive. You know, you didn't get caught up on the charges from that big Meech documentary that came out, which I'm happy. I'm, I'm really happy. Because, boy, your ass was target number three on that list. Don't know what I'm talking about? Watching on Netflix. BMF was not just a uh, music company. So Meg dropped another album and somehow it was marketed as her debut album, but for the true fans of her, they y'all know that it wasn't really her album, her debut album. Mixed reviews, but majority of them are negative. The streets are saying she already gave up on being a hard rapper and chasing the clothing store soundtrack money. The fuck is wrong with that? Y'all still know her name? Y'all know her name, she don't know y'all's. Who's winning? And I'll go ahead and go as far as to say this. Meg is harder than half the niggas that's putting out music right now. Fred, talk to me. What's, what's it looking like in the sports world this week? Please mention Tristan Thompson coming to the Celtics and Gordon Hayward getting the boot. I love that shit. talk about our female pioneers and we're going to Howard University for this one now we're talking about the volleyball team at Howard yeah a dominant program across HBCUs we're talking about them bringing in not one not two but three PWI commits yeah that's right these ladies were committed to some prestigious universities when it came to the rank of volleyball but now they're stepping in as pioneers and helping change the culture and level the playing field Colleen Temple literally flipped from Hawaii. Yes, that's right, people. Hawaii. How many people have been to Hawaii, bro? That's big, the fact that she's stepping away from there and wanting to step into the HBCU ranks. Now, this is also following behind the 6'3 twins, Bria and Simone Wooded. Now, these twins were committed to Texas A&M to play volleyball, but they said they needed a change of scenery, wanted to be more engulfed in the culture. So that leads to the decision to moving into the Mecca. Now, I have to shout out the Mecca for their moves that they've been making and recruiting. I mean, McCoy Maker, Kalua Madden, and now three young ladies who can also put this university over the top when we're talking about being competitive in volleyball. I mean, Temple is a 6'3 middle blocker and also plays basketball, so don't sleep on that as well. And these 6'3 twins, yes, they were touted. I mean, look across the country and there's people who know Bria and Simone Wooden. So shout out to Howard and the Mecca for making these big moves. Gotta talk about this one right here. Now this one's special to me. Not to say that the ladies weren't, but this pioneer is, is literally a game changer for the men. Now, Caden Law out of Olive Branch, Mississippi is a unique recruit. We're talking about a kid who drops 21 points, 11 rebounds, four assists, four blocks as a senior. We're talking about a kid as a junior who took his team to the state championship game. Though they were runner-ups, they were champions the sophomore season. Now, why is this so big? We're talking about a 4.0 student at an HBCU. Now, this may seem crazy to you guys, but as a former athlete, I can tell you right now, 4.0 was not how you spelled Uncle Fred. You spelled Uncle Fred graduate. Graduate. That's it. We get out of here. So shout out to Caden Long. But this also is going to help us transition into our next topic as we talk about the graduation rate at these HBCUs. Now, guys, bear with me. I'm only talking facts here. And the fact is, NCAT is a better HBCU at football than we are right now. I'm sorry. I can't believe I'm saying this. But let, let's look at facts right now. We're talking about an HBCU who has gone 10-2, and 9-3, 12-0, 10-2, 9-3. Four HBCU National Championships. They knocked off teams like Jacksonville State, Kent State, uh, Elon, Gardner-Webb. They are knocking off PWIs and FCS programs. It's okay. Unfortunately, my Braves, we can't figure out what's going on with this McNeese game. We can't, fit, we can't go undefeated in the sweat for some strange reason. I don't get it, but we just aren't built for the playoff yet. Yet. Stick with it. But what we're talking about here is NCAT and their ability to accept the bid representing the MIAC. 
Now, I do know the Miak is withering away right now as we have Bethune Cookman coming to the SWAC, Fam you coming to the SWAC. We have NCAT heading to the Big South. Hampton's already in the Big South. And Savannah State has jumped down to Division II. So why does this have to even be a topic? Well, because this team is not an ordinary HBCU stepping into the playoff. Now, I told you in 2018 that this team went 10-2. and two. Now, let's look back at the playoff in, in in 2018 real quick now if we look at 2018 we have a couple teams that make it in with just six wins i'm talking about in card and word elon and you and i now all of these teams have six and five records but they were able to accept the bid into the playoff then we also have six teams with seven and four records they were able to step into the playoff and that same jacksonville state team that the aggies knocked off in 2018 got got invited into the playoff at eight and three and at the time leading up to the Celebration Bowl, the Aggies were 9-2, making them the second first-round team that would have been 9-2 along with San Diego State. Now, am I saying that the Aggies are going to go off and win an HBC, uh, win a FCS National Championship off the bat? No. Am I saying that they are a, a quarterfinals team? No. But what I am saying is that this team has the ability to make a solid run in a withered down conference and with a lot of teams opting out for the spring. So this literally gives us a legitimate chance as an HBCU to see where in another HBCU stands in the ranks. And as an Alkanite, it also lets us know where we stand because we can't get over that hump. We also can't be grambling consistently, which I don't understand. And they can't even find a consistent quarterback or at least another Devontae Kincaid. Uh, yeah, now nah, no shot at Jeremy Hickbottom. You are great, bro. You're good. You beat my Braves. You bested him. But you are not Devontae Kincaid. I'm sorry, bro. He, I've literally watched that man rip my team to shed, shreds. I'm talking about 11 and 1 twice on this record. So, Hickbottom, I believe in you. I believe that you can do it, but just not against my Braves this year, man. I'm sorry. Now, if the records didn't do anything for you, then let's talk about some of these matchups, okay? Now, remind you, I just said that NCAT has been a, a representative in the playoff in Jacksonville State, the Gamecocks. Now, if we look at South Carolina State, another MEAC school who has knocked off Wofford, a team who has actually made it into the playoff, made it to the second round, an 8-3 and three team, that is. So that says a lot about South Carolina State and the defense that they're playing. Now, if we're taking the NCAT defense, that very complex defense that they're running there, the way that they're able to replace running backs like the Alabama, the way that they're able to, to replace their quarterbacks like they're all corn, is crazy. And we're not even going to talk about all the other programs. We're just talking about football right now. So this university altogether takes pride in winning. So I like the direction that they're heading. In fact, I would love for Dion to go ahead and schedule a game against these guys. I mean, these guys are trying to figure out where they rank amongst the, the bigger PWIs and, and FCS programs. I mean, literally, they put North Dakota State on their schedule. They were willing to go to the Fargo Dome. And anybody who knows anything about Fargo, tough place to play, Axe Valley. All right, right. Now, everybody, I just want to thank you guys for tuning in. Stay locked next week as we will be ranking these HBCUs. But figure out exactly what we're ranking about these HBCUs. Ah, I'm, I'm, I see what you guys are wearing on the field. And we're going to rank some of these swag that you guys got. So, man, thank you guys for keeping it locked. It's your boy, Uncle Fred. And we're keeping it locked at N-Word Sports. Now to the y'all hiring segment. Uh, so, Classy Decor is a designs and crafts company. They have customized items made to order. Keychains, car hangers, decals, port signs. Four signs. They ain't making no mega up here, are they? Hope not. Yeah, me too. We just fucking with you. But anyway, uh, port signs, custom cups. I thought they said custom cups. <laughs> custom cups are just a small list of the items offered. Take them out to get you some good holiday gifts for your loved ones. JM Design and Event is a design and event planner. They plan parties, bridal par They plan birthdays, bridal parties, business events, and baby showers. Biggest profile client being T.I.'s do daughter, Z Zanique. She created an enchanted forest theme. Isn't that his oldest girl, or is that like the second oldest? I don't know. I know it's one of the oldest, but I don't know if she was the oldest or not, because he got like a lot of kids. Uh, Royal 24 is a fashion boutique that gives out all kinds of cute things. Mansion sets, dresses, tights, tops. They have all you need to thought it up this fall. Try to be a thought in the fall. 
I'm trying to see the ladies have a hot girl summer, so we need to do what the fuck we need to do so COVID can go away by that time. That's my stance. I'm trying to see sundresses. Sundress season, I missed it. Come on now, let's band together just for this one time, just for the sake of all of us, so we can see some ass cheeks fighting up under these sundresses. Like, come on, like, it's not that hard. Shit. How about the fuck up the summer ain't even here yet? Uh, cause they're currently having a sale where you get 10% off your first purchase. Make sure you find all your burner emails to keep it, to keep getting first purchases. You really just told them how to finesse a, wow. Did you read over what she put? Mm hmm I put that. Ah, you must know them personally. Mm hmm I can't believe I just read that. Uh. Asul is a hairstylist in Columbus. He is known for growing hands. He specializes in hair treatment, care, and color. Block. Book today if you want to run the streets like the pandemic ain't happening. I say again, please stay at home so I can see sundress season and hot girl summer. Like this summer would be so fucking epic. If we survive a pandemic? Because imagine like the hot girls and the chicks from Freaknik being in one location. Plus, no more Trump. So that's a different type of party. We <laughs> 2021 has potential to be great. All I'm gonna say is the acronym FUN applies to my uh, my scenario. We just wanna have fun. We ain't trying to fuck up nothing. Cause we don't wanna fuck up nothing, have fun. We don't wanna fuck up nothing and we don't give a fuck about nothing. We just wanna have fun. Really, we fucking didn't. Been in the house too goddamn long. OK Fitness is accepting new clients near and far, offering group sessions, personal training, and a number of online programs. There's a little something for everyone. If you're ready to take the first step in changing your life, contact her today and tell her, and tell her Noodle sent you to redeem your free training session today. And like that, we out. <laughs>